Hi, this is Mark from LongIslandWatch.com. Today I've got uh, a brand I normally don't feature. I think I've only done like one video on them. So uh, I feel bad kind of leaving them aside, but I really need to bring them out more because they make awesome watches. Uh, it is a Loom Tech. Uh, certainly a brand that I don't think needs my help promoting their products, but man, they make a great watch and the Loom is amazing. I got a couple to show you today. I got an order on a quartz. We'll get over to them in good detail. I decided to strap on my pre-ceramic sub. Uh, this is a 2000, I got this in March of 2006. So the sub went ceramic, what, like seven or eight, like, you know, right after. I didn't know that was happening. And on the other wrist, I have that Concorde, thin quartz Concorde that is the same watch that my father had. Uh, Mariner SG, super thin, super comfortable. Uh, Let's see what LoomTech has for us today. So I've got the uh, got the two LoomTechs I want to show you today. Again, this is just these are just two of them. Uh, there's a whole bunch on the website. I just don't want to take up too much time. The highlight of them clearly is the Loom. The one on the right <laughs> looks like it's glowing, even though it's fully light out. I've got an Auto with a Swiss movement and a, uh, a Quartz GMT um, movement in my left hand. I guess we'll just start with this one. So this is the, whoops, let's put them over here. This is the LoomTech 350M-4. The name 350M comes from the water resistance of 350 meters. Kind of an odd number. Um, very, be very beefy, bulky watch, powered by a Solita SW200 movement. Um, I'll flip it over again in a minute. Uh, but the watch has a lot of goodies, so let's get into it a bit. 43 millimeters in diameter, 12 thick to a flat sapphire crystal, okay? Uh, just about 50, 49.7 millimeters for those of us counting, but just about 50 lug tip to lug tip. You see the end lug though does curve down very sharply on the on the bracelet. Uh, it is a 22 millimeter bracelet. Excuse me, 22 millimeter um, end lug. Uh, I told you the water resistance. So let's pull in on it a bit. Whoops, a little bit too much. So Swiss Swiss movement. Uh, Salita hand winds, hacks, screw down crown, logoed LT for Loom Tech. Unscrew it to pop it out. You can wind it, get your full 40 hours, pull it out, two clicks to set the time. It is a date movement, although there is no date. I do hear clicking going on underneath. I don't want to bug some people, so I will just bring it up. Uh, the price on this guy is $7.95. So LoomTech MDV technology, um, maximum darkness visibility. It's not just... A lot of loom they use um, this this MDV is their trademark it's some kind of a process where they first coat the dial with some kind of uh, titanium uh, some kind of titanium layer and then they apply the loom and the result is that the the loom shines the the best that it can um, more than on a conventional dial uh, that is that is their MDV technology uh, and then the loom they use Okay, is not just good loom, it is the best. It's Super Luminova uh, X1 grade, which is top, 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 top loom. Very nice. And they use a couple combinations here, and you'll see when I shut the lights out. We do have a ceramic bezel inlay with loom in it, and then a very aggressively styled uh, bezel. Excellent. It is very solid, maybe a little bit tough to grip, especially with, with my gloves on, uh, but very solid turning. Nice clicks, falls in very nicely. We have the black markings that will obviously offset the um, offset the killer loom. Nice crown guards. Let us take a look at the back. So we have the Loom Tech logo, various writing. It is anti-magnetic. Um, the movement is encased in an iron shield, so it is very anti-magnetic. Uh, Twenty thousand A over M was uh, amperes per meter or something. Not really a big magnet guy. Nice looking solid links, solid end links. Check out the uh, screws in the bracelet. And then look at the, I'll peel back some of the plastic. You can see the um, bracelet. Very interesting pattern with the cuts in it. Aggressive, again, matching, you know, kind of the bezel of the watch. Looks really cool. Um, and then the clasp. 
Loom tech, loom tech. Loom tech, loom tech, loom tech. And the watch has one, two, three, four, five logos on it. You guys better not complain about Squally again. Uh, deploying, but then what are these extra push buttons here? Oh, is that not sweet? So it is, whoops, get your glove stuck in it. It is a uh, adjustable on the fly. So the micro adjust is no tools are required. Very nice. Good job. Um, let's see. I think that is about it. Um, I'm going to show you the next one, and then and then we'll we'll kill the lights. Let me flip my notes around. So now we're getting into the Combat B45 GMT. There's a couple of other Combat watches that are quartz. Um, so this guy's got a Ronda 5 uh, 15 GMT movement in it. Obviously battery operated. It is a titanium coated stainless steel case. Uh, 43 millimeters in diameter, 12 millimeters thick, 51 on the tip to tip. We are still looking at a 22 millimeter lug, anti-reflective, slightly domed AR crystal, 200 meters of water resistance. Very nice, beautiful case back. Everything about the watch, very nice. Okay. Nice, um, very nice strap, very thick. Very beefy, very fitting of the watch. Um, so obviously a screw down crown. I mentioned it is titanium carbide coated. That is almost like a DLC. It's a very um, scratch resistant coating. So we unscrew the crown to change the time. Pops out. Can't wind it. Doesn't do anything because it's quartz. You pull out the crown to set the time. The second hand stops. You can change the time. And you'll notice that this 24 hour hand is moving along with it. 24 hour hand has light on the bottom. Light on the top, dark on the bottom for your differentiation between night and day, okay? And then one click out, one direction does nothing because normally we do the date. There is no date in the movement or there's no date window. I believe there's a click I hear. Not sure. Anyway, and then the other way we'll do the GMT hand. You can set it wherever you want, not just one hour increments, it's a half hour increments, whatever you want. And it will follow your GMT time. Uh, the price on this guy is four ninety five. Enough of that. Let's um let's see how the loom goes. So first, that full loom dial diver ridiculous. Okay, so we've got blue on the bezel. We have blue on I don't know the out the hour ring of the dial. We've green at the chapter ring and green in the center. The hands are black. Stands out very well. Very nicely done. And then that combat GMT done in all green loom. Again, my goodness, is that not a breeze to read? Let's even zoom in. You can see the clarity of everything. It looks amazing. Very nice, very nice. Let's, um, let's try these guys on. So 43 millimeters, okay size for me. Uh, 50 on the tip to tip, but look how, move my bling out of the way. Look how the lugs curve down. Very comfortable, nice watch. Above and below. Again, my wrist is six and three quarters. Very weighty watch. Um, has a lot of, a, certainly a lot of heft to it. Tons of room in the bracelet. This will fit a really large wrist. I, I would say easily over eight inches. Maybe even close to like eight and a half. And then with the extension, forget it. Really, really nice. And there is the B45 on my six and three quarter inch wrist. Um, not sure if I mentioned the size. Now that I'm looking at my notes, I'm like, did I talk about this? 43 millimeters in diameter, 12 thick, and uh, 51 lug tip to lug tip, so it's a bit larger. See, it stands off a bit, but really nice. Kind of cool looking. Um, I like how the strap matches the writing on the dial. You know, that kind of sand look, really cool. So I think that'll wrap it up. Uh, this has been Mark from LongIslandWatch.com showing you a couple of new uh, Loom Tech watches. Check them out on the website, not just these two. They make a whole bunch of them. Um, there are higher-end autos that are super nice, kind of like a little Panerai-inspired. Um, and then you've got these quartz jobbies. Just a, a really nice lineup, very solid. Uh, so uh, let's see, that's Mark from LongIslandWatch.com showing you two Loom Tech watches. I can't do it if I don't go through the whole thing. Please like the video if you enjoy it. Subscribe to the channel if you've not done so. Questions or comments, put them down below, and I'll be sure to address them as soon as I can. Thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.